Red on Channel here again, and today I'll be introducing my cello. Now the cello has a lot of different parts, and I'm not going to be introducing them all today. I'm only going to be introducing a few. And starting from the top is the scroll. The scroll is a kind of a curl thingy. It's only for decoration, not much special. Here is the peg box. The peg box is used to put strings in there to keep them safe. And these are the pegs. The pegs are traditionally made out of rosewood, but some are made out of ebony too. Now down here are the strings. They are A, D, G, and C. Now here is the soundboard. You can hear it's hollow. It makes the sound more vibrant and sound better. Same with the F holes. The F holes are, are shaped in the letter F for obvious reasons. They also have the same quality as the soundboard. Here is the bridge. The bridge keeps all strings individually in its own place so it won't fly about. And here is the tailpiece. Here you can see some gold markings. They are for to, in, to identify each string individually so you won't get mixed up. And here are the pitch changers. Why would you need to change pitch, you may ask? That's because sometimes in the summer and winter, the strings get dry and cracked and they might change sound. So you can come here and change the sounds back to its normal pitch. And here is the bow. The bow is traditionally made out of wood and is used to play the cello. That's all for today. And remember, there's a surprise. Don't go yet. And it's supposed to surprise is I'm going to be playing Kill This Love by Blackpink.
That's all for today. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button in the face. I turn on notifications for all your details. Stay tuned.